All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here checking out. So I'm coming to you from uh, my home away from home. This is where I work. This is kind of like my pseudo office kind of thing. I do a lot of traveling. And uh, I tell you what, I'm very blessed from the man upstairs to actually be working right now. There's a lot of people out there who don't have uh, a job. Uh, this is the worst thing that I have ever seen. And it is historic. And it's probably the worst thing that you guys have ever seen as well. So in any case, I, uh, I just wanted to thank God above that uh, I am employed. And what I'm doing right now is I'm frantically trying to run around and pick up more projects so that the guys that work with me, I always never say well, for me, but they work with me, is that I can get them back uh, to making money. Uh, and not this unemployment crap. So anyway, uh, another thing that I want to do is give a real big shout out. I, I drove up to uh, the Delaware River up on the northern side of Pennsylvania. Uh, I was, it felt weird being that close to New Jersey. But to, anyway, one of the things that I did see were these signs on the side of the roads. And, it, and, and I, I know this because I do it uh, daily as I, I do a lot of traveling. And I just want to give a real big uh, thanks to all the truckers out there who are delivering products across the country. Guys, without you, uh, we wouldn't be getting food. I told my wife, she says, the frantic buying and everything. I said, don't worry about it because here's the deal. As long as you see trucks on the road, there'll be products on the shelves. And it's true. And uh, the Tyvin Show, thank you so much for uh, being a good friend. And I know you're out there right now on the, on the road. And the nice thing is, is uh, well, for the truckers, there's hardly anybody out there on the road. Nice thing for me is that there's, uh, I can get around all the trucks. <laughs> anyway. All right. So what are we talking about in this video? Uh, I saw stuff on Instagram and this happened on the, the 13th and basically it is a, a letter from the assembly, uh, assemblyman from the legislature of California to Gavin Newsom. This guy's name is Miguel Santiago. Miguel Santiago. He didn't even speak with an accent, but uh, look his website up. Uh, I'll give you his phone number here, and you guys can call his office, and you can verbally uh, explain to him that the Second Amendment is not something that, well, is up for debate when it comes to you and me. Uh, also, it's not something that you can take away and give. People are not given the Second Amendment. The, the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. And what this guy did, basically in this letter, was a letter to Gavin Newsom. I was pissed off for two different reasons, and I'll tell you this right now. Uh, first is, he said that unprecedented amount of gun sales basically uh, presents more guns out there. there what do you say? Hold on one second. 22,424 firearms are still on the hands, still in the hands of prohibited persons in California. Public safety, I hope you guys can hear me because the microphone's right here. Uh, public safety admits the public health crisis must continue to be our shared priority. Then he goes on to say, this is the part that just chaps, I mean, just irritates me to no end. Hold on, guys. I gotta put some greeting glasses on. <laughs> oh, no wonder. I thought it was dark in here. Hell, it's, we got light. Okay, so anyway, adding more firearms to our current state of affairs perpetuates the cycle of public panic and impulsive action, an increase an increased population of firearms in our state not only poses a greater risk to children and families who are largely confined to their homes, but also to our communities facing racially motivated or otherwise targeted hate. Okay, so here's the whole thing. One is he wants to infringe on people who purchase their firearms legally. Hey, you dumbass. How do you think people know about the purchase of these firearms because they were done legally. They were done by FFLs. People were lining up buying their ammo, which is not an easy task in California. But secondly, you're acting as though anyone who has a firearm is, hey, a potential criminal in the making. These people are so evil. They must be, take the guns away. Please don't sell any more guns. It's evil to think that this individual looks upon the population of California as though that they are criminals. By purchasing a gun makes you an evil person. And that's the personality that is ruining and destroying our country. 
Guys, this is the stuff that we have to fight. Californians, you need to fight. Everybody out there needs to be getting involved in our right to march and assemble. This is getting out of hand. And guys, I'm getting sick and tired of it. But it's jokers like this who just try to destroy our country. Get them out of office. This, he is more of a danger to our society than a firearm. You guys think about it. Leave your thoughts down below. I just want to again say thank you to truckers. Thank God we have jobs. And guys, if you don't have a job, I hope that you can find one or get back to work as soon as possible. And that's one of the reasons why we have got to get out there and go. Ugh. Anyway, just a real quick message from me. I uh, got a really cool review of the Smith & Wesson m 22. Man, I took that thing out there and shot that the other day, and it was absolutely awesome. We got some t-shirts and packages in from Johnny B. I'm going to be wearing those and showing you how to get those. Uh, that's it. That's all I got. And we always end it like this. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform who fight for our constitutional rights as it was written by our founding fathers. Not as it was interpreted by a guy named Meg Miguel Santiago who is a waste of space and wasted of oxygen. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I'm exhausted already. This is the stuff that kicks my ass. I just, I get, I get on here and I know, you know, Guns and Gadgets and, and a couple other folks, those guys, I swear to God, they do a great job and they keep their cool. But I just get bent out of shape when I see shit like this. All right, you guys have a great night. Have a drink on me or have a drink for me because I'm stuck working all night. Let's go to Boy 32. That's it. I'm out of here. Salute to the truckers. Y'all be good.